Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something completely different than I've ever done before. So as you know, 2019 for me is going to be a year of declutter. So in doing so, I'm taking a look at everything I have in my closet, my handbags, my shoes, my clothes, and I really want to try to get rid of the things that are just sitting that I don't really find myself reaching for. At this point, I do have a couple favorite handbags that depending on the outfits I wear, I definitely do reach for them. And there are a lot of items that have just been sitting for a long time so I thought to myself you know what well I was watching a couple other youtubers do this and they thought they decided to sell some of their items to their subscribers so I don't know if this will work I don't even know if you guys will be interested in any of the items that I have to share but I thought that maybe it would be fun to show you guys what I have for sale I will list all the prices down below and then if you guys are interested you can certainly email me. So let me tell you how it's going to work. So I'm going to show you all the items today. I'm going to list all the prices down below. If you are interested, I'll put my email address down below and send me an email. And please only send me an email if you're seriously considering purchasing the item. And then if you do want it, you can ship, um, you can pay through PayPal and I will pay for shipping. So shipping will be free. It will be included in the price. And then in addition, it will, unfortunately, it will only be domestic to the United United States unfortunately in the past I've had so many problems I remember I did a giveaway I want to say it was probably like a year or so ago and it was a Burberry little cosmetic pouch and I shipped it to India and she never received it and I was out the Burberry case because I don't know there was something that happened when it went through customs so because of that I am limiting it to the United States I'm so sorry to do that but just because some of these bags are rather pricey I just want to make sure that I can have tracking and know where they're going so without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see what items I am selling in my closet, then keep watching. Okay guys, so I have some items from Louis Vuitton. I have some Gucci items. I have a lot of Michael Kors. Is that it? And then I have one little Burberry. So I have a couple of things and I'm going to go through them relatively quickly, but I am going to show them. And a lot of these items... I have loved and I've had them for a really long time but like I said they've just been sitting and I found myself just not really reaching for them so I thought you know what I can maybe sell these to someone and have them go to a good home where they can get a lot of use and then I thought you know anything that I do get rid of and do end up selling maybe I will take that money and put it in a little pot for myself for my next handbag so now that we have all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So the first item I want to mention is by Louis Vuitton. It was one of my favorite, favorite items, and I actually just mentioned it in a recent video. I feel it's one of my favorite Louis Vuitton small leather goods, but I don't reach for it anymore because I do have my new key, key pouch. And the item I'm talking about is this little Louis Vuitton. This is the six ring key holder. So first let me show you, you can see that the outside is perfect there are no scratches or anything the only problem with this is the button so be very mindful of this the button is very very tarnished but I'm sure you can go into Louis Vuitton and you can have them replace it but as you can see on the interior it is the fuchsia interior it has a little slot right here if you want to put a card and then it has six little key rings right there and this was definitely my go-to I used it so much but like I said it's just kind of been sitting and I haven't reached for it anymore now that I have my new Louis Vuitton key holder so I would like this to go to a good home and like I said I will be sure down below I'll list what the retail price is and then I will list what I'm selling it for and I will, I will be sure to give you guys good prices, don't worry. But as you know, with a lot of items, especially Louis Vuitton, a lot of these items appreciate in value. So I will try to have good pricing. But like I said, the only, only issue with this is the button, but you can probably take it to Louis Vuitton and they will fix it for you. So that is the first item. Okay guys, the next item that I am selling, and this is one of those items that I thought, do I wanna sell it, do I not wanna sell it? I kinda went back and forth. 
but honestly I think it is time for me to get rid of this just because every time I do wear it I have problems with my items falling out of it that doesn't mean I don't love it it is a beautiful bag but I am talking about this little baby right here this is the Louis Vuitton this is the favorite there are two sizes and this is in the PM size so as you can see right here it is basically in perfect condition you open it up it has you can see the beautiful red interior and then it comes with a strap like this this is just such a great bag but the problem that I had with it is because it doesn't have a zipper I found that a lot of my stuff was falling out of it but I even have in the little pocket I have right here it says the the favorite pm it has the little sticker it's here and then if you do get this i will also include the little louis vuitton dust bag that comes with it and then i even have the ribbon as well as the box so it'll almost be like it's brand new for you guys like i said i've kind of gone back and forth about this because this is a beautiful bag and i do feel like it is a classic piece but for whatever reason i just don't really reach for it so i'm hoping that it can go to a very good home like i said i will include the little dust bag so let me put it in the dust bag so you can see what it looks like and then you will have the little louis vuitton box and there's also a ribbon in here as well so this is the next item okay now i want to move on to gucci and you guys i want to mention this was one of my favorite wallets like all-time favorite wallets like I wore this every single day probably for a couple of years but now I just don't reach for it anymore it is this Gucci Gucci Sima wallet so it is leather and as you can see it definitely has been worn but this is such a good wallet it has silver it has the little Gucci logo right here you open it there is so much space in here so I actually still have this little Gucci card that came with it, but you can see there are a ton, a ton. Let's see, we have one, two, three, we have six. So we have about 12 credit card holders, and then you have a little zip spot in here for your coins. You have stuff for your bills. You have places if you want to put coupons. This was my favorite wallet, and I think it's been so challenging for me to find another really good wallet like this because this has been just such a nice, like, this has just been so good. But like I said, it is a little worn, you can see. It doesn't have a ton of spots, but if you open it up, you can see it's still you know pretty nice inside but there is just a tiny bit of wear and tear so don't worry I will give you like a really good deal but I'm actually kind of sad to part with this a little bit just because it has been such a good wallet and I think that whoever gets it you're gonna love it because it's really really roomy and I'm going to see if I can find the box for this I think that I still have it I'm pretty sure that I do so that way I can send you guys home with the box so yeah, so that's the next thing the next item is just a little guy and this is by Burberry and this is actually something that I used to use to conceal my birth control pills but it's actually a little card holder you can see right here the only thing with this um, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera but there is a little bit of wear you can see right here but the interior looks really really nice it has spots for three credit cards and then over here you can put your ID do an up close you can see the exterior is a black pattern so it's very beautiful and I love this classic Burberry print I think I've mentioned before that Burberry changes their style slightly each year and this was probably my favorite check print I love it so this was an item I got from Burberry um, from Bloomingdale's and I've loved it for a long time but again I just don't really reach for it anymore so this is something that I'm going to give to a good home okay I think those were all of the uber luxury items now we're gonna move into some Michael Kors bags and these are some bags that once again I loved so much one of these was my favorite let me do that one first you guys this bag right here was my favorite it is the Michael Kors Sloan quilted bag it's just so cute it has a little snap opening you can open it's still in really good condition it comes with this chain this gold chain 
it's you can wear it as a crossbody. And the thing I really like about it too is it has a top handle. You guys, ever since I got my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, that is my favorite. You can wear it as a crossbody. You have the top handle, and I just love having that top handle so that you have that here. So you open it up and it's pretty spacious. There are some credit card holders. Um, there are some credit card slots right here. You have a zip pouch here. And then in the back, I actually still have the price tag. This is the Sloan. And this actually retailed for $258. And I'm telling you guys, uh, it's like brand new. It really is. There might have been there might be like some little tiny spots on the inside of the bag, but you can't really see it. So I really don't reach for this anymore, not because I don't love it, but just like I said, that that Dagon, the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, and then the Gucci uh, Soho, and then the YSL camera are some of my favorites. So because of that, I just don't really reach for this. This doesn't get the love that it deserves, so I am going to hopefully sell it to someone who's going to give it a really good home. The next item I want to mention is another... Michael Kors bag that I actually got a lot of use out of. It is this one right here. This is called the Jet Set Michael Kors and this is in the brown. So you can see it has the brown MK logo on it. It has the gold hardware. I don't see there's actually not even really is there any tarnish? There's really not any tarnish on the gold at all. It is a cross body strap right here. And the strap is tan. And then there is so much room, you guys. It's so spacious. You can open it and look how much room. So you're just going to have that tan interior. It has the MK logo. There is a little pocket. And I will leave that price tag in there. Oh, it doesn't have the actual price on it. But it is the tag from when I bought the bag. And then on the other side, there are two little spots here. So this is another bag that I wore a lot. But as you can see, it's still in really, really good condition, you guys. Michael Kors bags are some of my favorite. And the canvas is just nice. If you get it dirty, you can wipe it down. So this is another bag that I'm selling. I don't really want to, but like I said, I'm really, really trying hard to declutter, especially the bags that I just don't really reach for anymore. It is this Michael Kors. This is a little shoulder bag. Well, actually, you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a tote. It has the MK logo. It has the little um, gold hardware right here. You can see the back. This bag is so spacious. Don't want to wear it that way. It comes with a strap, which you can see I haven't even used the strap yet, but you just hook it on either side. Mainly the way that I carried it is I just carried it on the crook of my arm. I thought that looked really nice, but it's pretty black, and I think that that's really nice for work. Open, you can see kind of how spacious the interior is. I have a lot of like extra change here. There is a zip which I still have the little Michael Kors. This is just the little, tells you about the fabric. And then I'm trying to see, do I have the price tag? A lot of times I would try to keep that. I don't see it, but I will give you guys a really good deal on this. Cause I, as you can see, it is in really, really good condition still. Like I said, I try really hard to keep really good care of my bags. So that's that one. And then I have another bag that is in leather, and it's very similar. As you can see, it's just the plain black leather, and it has the gold hardware. There is like a little tiny scratch on the gold hardware. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not too bad. But the leather is its kind of like a soft pebbled leather. There is a little bit of wear and tear, but it's not too bad. Once again, same thing, you can wear it on the crook of your arm as a shoulder bag, or this one also has a strap that you can connect. There is like a little hook over here. Let me show you, let me touch it. You can wear it kind of that way too. So this is another bag that I really didn't get as much use out of as I, as I thought I would, but I just don't really reach for it, but I think it would be perfect workplace. This just looks really nice and professional. And again, guys, the quality of Michael Kors bags are so good, so good. Okay guys, I have one more item that I want to mention and this is actually a pair of shoes and they are by Coach 
and they are so incredibly cute. They are like little coach wedges. So they are denim wedges. They have a wood heel. You can see that they're in really, really good shape. They have a cute little bow tie with the coach logo. And let me show you the bottom of the shoes. It doesn't even look like they've been worn. So they're in really, really great condition. The only thing is on the wood, you might be able to see there are some tiny little scratches and but you can see it has the coach logo right there now the only thing is i cannot remember if these shoes are an eight or an eight and a half because unfortunately they don't have the size on the shoe okay so that's the only thing with these shoes i'm not exactly sure of the size like i said it's either an eight or an eight and a half the good thing is if it is an eight and a half and they're too big you can always put one of those um, if you go to payless you can get one of those heel stickers to put in the back that will help your heel from coming out but these are just super super cute but i just don't wear them anymore i think i might have worn them just a handful of times they're blue denim and then they have just like silver going around and they're really really cute with the details detail you can see okay and then it will also come with this white dust bag so I don't have the box but I will put the dust bag in there too so you can see it's just like this so that's everything guys I do have a couple other items that I'm thinking of, of selling as well but I thought that I would start with this stuff for now and then if you guys were receptive to it and I could definitely do more of these in the future so like I said I will be sure every item I mentioned today I will leave it in the description box below if you're interested make sure to send me an email and I will get back to you I will leave the price and then if you are interested, we'll talk through email and then you can pay me via PayPal and I will ship it right away to you and I'll provide you with a tracking number and everything. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm kind of branching out and trying something new here. Um, the only reason I thought about doing this is because I actually had a couple of my subscribers message me about some of my other bags saying, Hey, you know, are you thinking of selling those? If so, let us know. So I thought Maybe you guys might have an interest in this. If you do, great. If not, that's okay. You know, I will eventually find good homes for them. So if you have any questions at all, please reach out. Again, I will leave my email address below. And please only contact me if you are serious about purchasing any of these items. Okay, so thank you again for joining me. Make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I'd love to have you join me over there. Have a fabulous day and I will see you guys in my next video. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure